Hello friends, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today it's a quick, quick uh, tip for paper pumpkin, but the stamp set that come in the paper pumpkin. I did a video a couple, uh, maybe weeks ago or so on, I'll print out your insert. I will add this at the end of the video so you can print your insert. It's each paper pumpkin. It sends you an email and you get the insert you can print. Also, I put that to, I send that to all my paper pumpkin subscriber, the, the easy printout. And then some people say they love that uh, thing, the printout, but they would like something smaller because a lot of this paper pumpkin stamp set are smaller. Well, I decide to use uh, the memory and more, the uh, photo album here, the whatever it's called. It's a photo album scrapbook. So it is on page 170 of the catalog. And it's the one, the six by eight, right at the bottom there. So this is the one that I got here, right here, and then the add-on page. Well, you cannot add just the two, the best one that I find. It's the one that it's slipping to, so you can slide your um, in this. One thing that I noticed just now. Um, that it slide out let's say you grab it on the wrong way one thing you could do is take a piece of washi tape and put it right at the top so even if you put it up it would have to did I let me make sure it is glued there here we go so now it is stuck there so just make sure you put the washi tape to cover the, the thing. So that would cover it. If not, I mean, if you don't flip it upside down, it would be okay. So now that's it's the best size. So this one was kind of a big one. It was, um, a, uh, what, which one was that? That was a sentimental rose from April. This one was uh, last month. Uh, that was um, a little small. So one thing that I uh, I said after, I'm like, hmm, what I would do that I didn't do when I put that in quick, I would take a Sharpie and I would put on it, on a, any place that you can see, May 2019, oh, need a one there, and then I would put the name, that's a little small, I would put a little small so then if you look on pinterest for um, cards ids or if you look for the pdf that i sent to my subscriber then you know exactly which one was that you want to look for the may 19. so you see i slide that in these ones so i figure a way that you can use the little pocket you can use the big one at the bottom here right here so that would be for a bigger stamp now a lot of them are these size here like the one that we just finished in august uh, um, not august but uh, july but see it don't fit so my best way let's make sure that you place your stamp set just right in here and what you can do is just a little bit I would leave my stamp set there so I know that it fit. I would cut just, make sure you don't cut your stamp set, just a little bit. And also right here at the end because it's a bit too long. And then watch this. Maybe we're going to have to play with the stamp set a little bit with this one, but let's see. Yep, that's going to fit. I didn't cut the... Make sure you don't cut your stamp set and that this is going to fit right in here. Voila! So it is a way that you can have it fit in these, the little pocket. You just have to trim a bit. And if you see it's tight a little bit like this one, what you can do is take your stamp, move it just a little bit off the grid, off the where it's marked there you still have place to play with because this one was kind of tight now you get plenty of space to come and cut more and then put your cover at the top here we go turn it around then you're going to see 
your uh, the prediction sheet there and then I can trim that here we go and then this is going to slide very easy first time it was tight a little bit but here we go slide right in so then you can use all the size of your pocket you can use the big one like this one the two and then you get the three this one it's a one but it's just one of the big one so you can put you know all the one that you get so then you would keep your inventory there and here you get four pocket well the four pocket it's like the two with the big one at the bottom so you can use all that for the smaller stamp a set so that would be a great way with the basic uh, six by eight photo album to keep your paper pumpkin stamp set and that you can fit a lot in this that would not take a lot of space like the case but if you want all your stamp set in a case we get the printout for that i will add the link right below right behind and then uh, also I print the front of it if you want to put two instead of putting both of the picture because that was the kit you can have just the stamp set itself so instead of putting the picture of the kit you can have like both of I don't have the uh, I cut that out but you can have the, that on the other side the other picture because you can fit two and on the side I put both name there so keep that in mind when you decide what you're going to put do you want to put a picture of the the kit or you want to put the picture of the stamp set if you put two uh in your um, case and you can almost fit three it would be easy to put the three name then cut overlap it a bit so that is it my friend for today hope this is going to help you get organized your paper pumpkin stamps each month till next time happy stamping my friend bye bye for now